For 2B, they also want us to find the angular speed and linear speed. This is the information they give us, the radius, I'm just going around a circle of radius 5 meters. And so it's going around one third radian every 20 seconds. They want us to express the angular speed, so we're going to find omega, but they want it in terms of radians per minute. And we have seconds here, so we have to change the, the unit of time. First, we want to put the one third radians for every 20 seconds. So we're going to start uh, with that. Next, we want to do a conversion. We want to change the seconds into minutes. The seconds we're going to put on top and the minutes we're going to put down below. So one minute is the same thing as 60 seconds. Uh, so that will allow us to cancel out the seconds and then we'll have radians per minute which is what they're asking us for. Now we can multiply this across the top. If we multiply across the top we're going to get uh, 20. Across the bottom is going to be 20 and so that's going to give us 1. Uh, so with that uh, we end up with 1 but the units on it will be what they're asking for. The seconds are going to cancel and we get radians per minute. So one radian per minute is the answer for uh, the angular speed. Next, we're going to do V equals R omega. We want to find the linear speed of that object going around. The radius was given as 5. Okay, so we have 5 and then times 1. We get 5. Now the units on that, it's going to be the same unit of measurement from the radius, that's meters. So 5 meters. Uh, and then we'll use the same unit of time for this one, that's minutes. So meters per minute, and that's the same unit they wanted us to do uh, on the test. So in here, uh, the final answer would be 5 meters per minute. That would be your linear speed, and 1 radians per minute would be your angular speed.